Uh, post documentary by Rail Flaw. Capone was born in Brooklyn, New York in 1899. He grew up in the rough side of New York, so he was involved with gang violence and left so and so left sixth grade at the age of 14. Then later through the years, he became a part of one of the five point gangs in Manhattan owned by Frank Yale. During the years working for Frank, he killed two men, hospitalized a rival gang member. So in nineteen nineteen Yale sent him to Chicago to his old mentor, John Terrio. John seen potential in him and started to teach his prodigy. By nineteen twenty two Capone became John Terrio's right hand man. <clears throat> but by nineteen twenty three they were facing a problem. Prohibition and the new mayor William Dever that wanted Capone out of Chicago. So they moved out of the city limits to a suburb area, Cicero, but in 1924, an election for mayor in Cicero jeopardized their business. So to continue business there, they took the opportunity to get Joseph Z. Clinton on the payroll and to make sure he won the election. Capone and his brother, Frank Capone, some of his partners intimidated her and killed the voters eventually. The cops came and gunned down Frank Capone. A year later, things turned for the worst when Alice's mentor John Terrio was shot up by some rival gang members. Still alive, Terrio decided to leave the gang life and return to Italy, leaving the operation to Capone. Capone then began getting a high profile by taking his headquarters to a fancy hotel called Montreal Bowl in downtown Chicago and also started to live in and also started to live in luxury, spending money. Um, he had nothing to worry about since he generated one million dollars annually. He also got a rep for being a Robin Hood since he was the first person to open a soup kitchen and settle rival gang conflicts. However, in the later years that rep would go down when people started connecting him to so many brutal crimes. The next year, Capone was prosecuted for his previous one of his previous murders by William X. Wigan, the hanging prosecutor with no evidence to prosecute him. They later decided to raise his business where they took documents that would later be used to accuse him of income tax evasion. By the early years, 1929, Capone controlled the illegal liquor in Chicago. His longtime rival, Beba Bugs Moran, who had tried to kill Capone before, was gunning for his top hit man, Machine Gun Jack Moran. They then turned, they then decided to kill him on February 14, 1929, posing as cops. Regrets men murdered seven of Moran's men at Northside Garage, but Bugs Moran wasn't there. Immediately. The media blamed Capone and dubbed him public enemy number one, even though he was at his Miami home at the time. The Chicago outcry President Herbert Hoover ordered the federal government to get Capone on income tax evasion. Soon on January 5th, 1931, the U.S. government finally got Capone on 22 accounts of income tax evasion, even though they had a solid case. Capone felt confident he would get a minimal sentence of two and a half years. The judge wouldn't allow that, so <clears throat> Capone was found guilty and sentenced to 11 years in prison. Capone spent two years of his sentence at Atlanta prison. Then in 1934, he was sent, sent to Alcatraz for bribing one of the guards. The cop bribing one of the guards. Cut from the world, he could not put his influence in the prison or the city of Chicago. Later through the years, his sentence had began suffering. Later through his years, he began through his sentence, he began suffering poor health from the syphilis he contracted as a young man. Suffered and also suffered neurosyphilis causing dementia. In 1939, he was sent to a Baltimore hospital and remained there for three years until he was released and lived his life in Miami with his wife. He died of cardiac arrest on January 25, 1947.